The piecewise linear graphs of the functions f and g are shown above. If $x$ is equal to $f(x)$, then what is the value of the first derivative of $x$ evaluated at $4$? And we need to use what is called the chain rule when dealing with composite functions, but before we apply it to this specific problem, let's look at an example. Let's say we have $a$, of x, which is $b$ of $c$, of x, where $b$ of x is equal to $x$ to the fourth, and $c$ of x is equal to the sine of x. So looking at this, putting c of x into b of x, we have the sine of x all raised to the fourth power. And the way to take the derivative of this, so the derivative of a of x, you first take the derivative of the outer function with the inner function still inside it, and then you multiply it by the derivative of the inner function. So for our case, a prime of x is equal to the derivative of the outer function. So we bring the 4 down in front, and we subtract the exponent by 1. And the inner function will just stay inside of it. And now we multiply it by the derivative of this inner function. And the derivative of sine of x is just the cosine of x. So now that we have a general idea of how the chain rule works, Let's apply it to our specific problem. And since we have h of x is equal to f of g of x, then h prime of x would just be the derivative of the outer function, f prime of g of x. We just leave the inner function inside it, multiplied by the derivative of the inner function. And now we just need to figure out what these values are from our graph. And since we have to figure out h prime of 4, this would be equal to f prime of g of 4 multiplied by g prime of 4. So let's rewrite this, h prime of 4. Now we need to figure out g of 4. And our function g is this pink one here. So we go to an x value of 4. Notice that g of x is a line from an x value of 2 to an x value of 5. And the slope of this line, or the derivative of g of x, for x values between 2 and 5, has a rise of 4 and a run of 3. So the slope is 4 thirds. And since we need to know the value of the function g at Four, or at x equals 4, and the value of the function is at 0 at the point 2, then each point over it'll go up 4 thirds. So this would be at 4 thirds, so this would be at 8 thirds. So g of 4, let me put up here, is just 8 thirds. So we need f prime of 8 thirds and this is multiplied by g prime of 4, which we know that the derivative from an x value of 2 to an x value of 5 is just this 4 thirds, or the slope of this line. So f prime of 8 thirds will be multiplied by 4 thirds. So h prime of 4 then is equal to f prime of 8 thirds, which is 2 and 2 thirds. So we need the derivative of the function f, this blue line here, an x value of 2 and 2 thirds, and f of x is a line as well. Notice that it has a rise of negative 5 and a run of 5, so its slope would be negative 1, or the derivative of the function on this entire interval from 0 to 5 is just negative 1, so this value, f prime of 8 thirds, is simply minus 1, and we have to multiply that by 4 thirds. So the derivative of h evaluated at 4 is simply minus 4 over 3. And this is our final answer.